Hi, the topic for today's video is guesstimate and the topic of guesstimate is annual income of a beggar in Bangalore. Before starting the video, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell notification icon to never miss out on our videos. Now let's start. Now let's see what are guesstimates, why are they important and how can we solve the guesstimates. Now let's see what are guesstimates. So guesstimate is a blend of words of guess and estimate. It is defined as estimate made without using adequate or complete information. Or we can say as an estimate we arrive at by guesswork. So we guess something and we arrive at an estimate. So it is called as a guesstimate. So we can have n number of ways to solve a guesstimate because everyone will have a different assumptions and each and everyone will be having some different solutions at the end of the guesstimate. Now on this topic we will discuss two methods to solve the guesstimate. Now why are they important? So guesstimate is asked in an interview to understand the analytical understanding of the candidate as well as to check his thought or approach of diversity. Then uh, wait. Then remember there is no right or wrong approach. Just solve according to your guess and assumptions. Interviewer can ask any question as a guesstimate like number of red cars in Bangalore or number of trees in Pune. So there are n number of questions and you can just take up anyone and practice the guesstimate. Now how can we solve the guesstimates? First, we need to assume some conditions like people he will meet and money each will give etc and then decide the peak timings where the probability of getting more money is high then calculate the income according to the peak time and assumptions for a month and then for the year we can ask right clarifying questions to the interviewer about the guesstimate question like here we can ask beggar begs in tech area or rural area or the age and the gender of the beggar we can ask a number of questions to him just to clarify the question and then we can have our assumptions and tell the solution to the guesstimate. Now let's discuss the two approaches for this guesstimate. Now the first approach is uh, now let's see the assumptions of the first approach. Then a beggar meets 100 people per day out of the chance of converting is 500. We have assumed that the beggar meets 100 people per day and the chance of converting is 50%. Means only 50 people give him money. Likewise. Now the beggar knows where to search for people. Let's say near offices or tech park to have better conversion rate. The, be the beggar knows the time of the day as well as the peak time during the evening. So we are assuming this all that the beggar knows where to search for people. Then we know the beggar knows the peak time and all. Then we know the beggar starts at 10 p.m. and begs till 10 p.m. till night. Then average income of from per person is 20 rupees. Means we assume that each and every person gives 20 rupees to the beggar. And these are all the assumptions for the first approach. Now let's categorize the daily hours weekdays so in weekdays 10 to 1 is peak time then 1 to 5 is medium 5 to 8 is peak and 8 to 10 is medium so 10 to 1 is peak time because all the people are going to the office and there is many crowd out there so it is peak time then 1 to 5 is medium because the they are at office and so therefore no such crowd out there then 5 to 8 they go home they are going home therefore it is peak time and 8 to 10 again medium. Now let's see number of people met in those hours. So 10 to 1 let's see he meets 40 people then in 1 to 5 he meets 10 people then in 5 to 8 40 and then 8 to 10 and 10. So this comes to, to be 100 people uh, as we assumed that he meets 100 people in a day. So this is 100 people then let's Calculate the income of weekdays which is 40 into 20, then 10 into 20, then 40 into 20, then 10 into 20 and it comes to be 2000. So 5 days per weekdays. So 2000 into 5. So 10,000 
and we assumed 50% conversion rate so we have 5000 on weekdays in a month his income is 5000 into 4 there are 4 weeks in a month so it, per month his income is 20000 now let's see on weekends now taking the weekends his strategy would be different the beggar won't be roaming near the offices rather he would roam near the neighborhood during day and shopping mall theater during night if I go with similar calculation as in weekdays, his evening income is way higher. Peak time is 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. Because everyone is chilling and just roaming outside uh, in the weekends. Now, expected income of weekends. He meets 50 people with 20 rupees each. So, 1000 and 50% conversion rate is 500. Number of weekends, 8. So, 500 into 8 is equal to 4000. So we have 4,000 from weekends and let's see the monthly income, weekdays 20,000, weekends 4,000. So monthly is equal to 24,000. Now annual income is monthly income into 12. So 24,000 into 12 is equal to around 3 lakhs, taking holidays and special events into consideration. So we have come to an conclusion that the beggar has the annual income of around 3 lakhs at the end of each year by using the first approach now let's see what the second approach has for us so in the second approach the assumptions we have are in the 24 hours time let's assume that the beggar sleeps 5 hours a day and also use assume 5 hours he is busy doing other pieces of stuff like eating playing cards on the roadside etc so that makes our time as 24 minus 5 minus 5 which is 14 hours so he works for 14 hours then let's categorize the daily hours of weekdays 6 to 10, it's uh, 50 people he met and 80% conversion rate. Then 12 to 4, 30 people he met with 50% of conversion rate. 6 to 10, he met 40 people with 70% of conversion rate. And 11 to 1 am, he met 25 people with 30% of conversion rate. So why did we use the conversion rate like that? The variable conversion rate. But in first approach, we used 50% uh, and which was consistent for all the timings now let's see why we do that now here in the second approach 6 to 10 am people are in good mood starting to start their day by offering something to needy people now from 12 to 4 people will be in hurry as they have got limited time from the office then in 6 to 10 back from office if a day well, well spent then they will offer to make each day good now 11 to 1 end of the day so the conversion rate is only 30 percent at 11 to 1 now let's see income of weekdays so if on average they get rupees 5 from single person then from 6 to 10 he meets 40 people so 14 to 5 200 then from 12 to 4 he meets 15 so 15 into 5 75 then 6 to 10 he gets 140 rupees then from 11 to 1 he gets 50 rupees then total money is equal to rupees 465 per day then income on weekends so this 465 per day will be for 5 days a week as on weekends the time between 12 to 4 pm and 6 pm to 10 pm will have conversion rates more but on the contrary morning conversion rate will be less so taking that situation into account this rupees 465 per day will increase to rupees 500 per day considering an average increase of rupees 35 so we have assumed again to have an increase of rupees 35 on weekends so let's calculate hence calculating for per week we have 465 into 5 for weekdays and 500 to 2 for weekends so we have 3325 per week and month has 4 weeks so 3325 into 4 which comes to be 13300 then his annual income would be 12 into 13300 and it it comes to out to be 159600 now this is the outcome of the second uh, approach and in the first approach we had around 3 lakhs of the annual income of the beggar but in the second approach using different assumptions we have a different outcome which is 1,59,600
so we have we can have any number of approaches any number of assumptions and no approaches wrong so this only tests the persons what we can say the thought process or the approach diversity of the candidate so it is nothing wrong so you can always perform different assumptions and take out any value from the question so that is all from the video hope you like the video please subscribe to our channel and if you have any doubts put it in the comment section below and we'll get back to your doubts thank you